In general, any fabric that you can sew on your standard home sewing machine can be sewn with an overlock machine. From fine silks and heirloom quality batiste to ultra suede and real leather, your choices of needle, thread, and tension adjustments will determine your level of success, just as with any sewing project. Your instruction manual and CD give you important information about setting up your brother overlock machine, choosing the correct needles and threads, and much more. They're the most important resources for helping you to successfully use your machine and learning the basics of serging. Let's review some of those basics before we start stitching. Your brother overlock machine uses standard household sewing machine needles. Be sure to use the size needles recommended for your machine and for the fabric you're sewing. A needle smaller than size 9 may not be able to stand up to the pressure of a serger's speed. A needle that is too large can damage your serger. Inspect your needles and change them often. Needles that are dull, bent, or have burrs can result in poor stitch quality and damage to your machine. Specialty needles that you use in your standard sewing machine can be used in your brother overlock machine as well. When serging knits, try ballpoint or stretch needles rather than universal needles. Microtex or sharp needles are ideal for sewing microfibers. Embroidery, metallic, and top stitching needles have larger eyes and deeper scarves to help prevent thread fraying and breakage when sewing or serging with decorative threads. You can use regular sewing thread, serger thread, and decorative thread in your overlock machine. Be sure to use good quality thread. Bargain thread can break easily during an overlock machine's high speed stitching. You should also make sure that your thread is new. Throw out thread that you've had around for years. It will only cause you grief when you try to use it in your serger or your standard sewing machine. Keep your thread out of sunlight and keep it dust free. When serging seams and edge finishes that will be unseen in your finished project, use regular sewing thread or serger thread. When selecting three or four spools or cones of thread for these seams, it's not necessary that all the threads match each other or your fabric. Match the thread in the needle that sews the seam line to the fabric and use blending colors like cream, gray, or rose in the loopers and in the second needle if one is inserted. One of the many wonderful things about an overlock machine is the ability it gives you to construct a project and add embellishment at the same time. There are so many beautiful decorative threads available for use in your serger that you may have a difficult time deciding which to use for any given project. Many of these threads, including buttonhole twist, woolly nylon, rayon, polyester and cotton embroidery threads, and fine metallics can be used in both the needles and loopers. Heavier threads like pearl cotton, heavy metallics, yarns, pearl crown rayon, braids, crochet thread, ribbon, and ribbon floss should either be used only in the loopers or stitched over with your serger. Now, Let's get ready to stitch. When you sew, it's usually best to baste your fabric first. Basting is especially important to ensure proper fit when constructing garments with an overlock machine. After all, once your seam is stitched and trimmed, there's no seam allowance left to be let out if the garment is too tight. Avoid pins for basting if you can. Use glue stick, basting glue, or basting tape whenever possible. When it's necessary to use pins, place them parallel rather than perpendicular to the seam line. If you must put them perpendicular for better hold, use as few pins as possible, stitch slowly, and remove the pins well before they reach the knives. <laughs> 